This is Andrew Ruiz Jr. You're listening to Mr. Boxing Today. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man. So this was a uh, quick fight. You know what I mean? Uh, Cassie Cheney gets the job done, knocks out Joel Cotto in the first round, and this thing has went viral, man. He knocked him completely out of the ring. Um, Cotto, to his, to my surprise, and showing that he has a lot of heart, he was actually able to beat the count, man. And he got, <laughs> and he got back in the ring and tried to continue to fight. Uh, Cheney landed like another little overhand right, and Cotto's legs were just gone, man. And the ref stepped in and stopped the fight. Even when he stopped it and he had Cotto walk back to his corner, he was still uh, on shaky legs, man. So I thought it was a good stoppage. Um, when the fight started, man, you know, Cheney went in there and fought exactly how a bigger man is supposed to fight against a smaller guy. And he used his jab, kept him on the outside, and he started to let his hands go. He was landing good combinations, good uppercuts in there, man. He was landing some very good uppercuts. Obviously, the right hand and the jab was working. <clears throat> Just completely dominated the, the fight. It was a quick fight, and... The time there in the ring, he dominated the fight. Um, Cheney moves on to 16 and 0, 10 wins by knockout. Uh, you know, this was an under the radar fight. Uh, Cotto was a guy, I remember I did a video when he was going to be an opponent uh, for Charles Martin, but that fight never happened though. But I did do a prediction video on it, even though the fight didn't happen. He's been in there with guys like Joe Hanks, another heavy handed type of guy, um, had never been knocked out. He's one of those type of guys, man, where he's real crafty, you know, likes to stay low, come in with the overhand right to the left hooks, you know what I mean, that type of thing, but he couldn't get nothing going against uh, Cassius Chaney, man. Kept, like I said, kept him on the outside, landing big right hands, just had everything going. And then after the fight, I seen my man Cassius Chaney was talking to the camera, and he was saying, hey, they wanted to fight for four years, we gave it to him. All right, so I'm thinking that this was some type of rivalry they had going on, Um where caught on his team, or maybe Joel wanted the, the, the fight. He got it, and uh, we see what happened in the fight. All right, so Cash Cheney went in there, did what he had to do, man. You know, it's, it's, it's one thing when you're fighting these type of fights that are kind of under the radar to a lot of fans. Go viral. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, try to win as impressively as you, as you possibly can, and something like this happens. This thing is viral. It's all over. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, man, when I talk about the up-and-coming prospects, um, uh, out of America, Cassius Cheney's a guy who I usually bring up. I would love to see him fight a Jermaine Franklin. I know they're on different networks, but I'm just throwing names out there. Otto Wallen, who's brung his career over here from Sweden. Um, i like to see him fight anybody, man. You know what I mean? Uh, Trey Lippy Morrison, who had a fight this week. I'd love to see him fight him. Anybody that's up and coming, I would like to see him fight. You know what I mean? Uh, I think Cash is he's 32 years old, man. So maybe before they do that, maybe they put him in there with a guy who's kind of a, uh, you know, a guy that probably competed for a world title that came up short, you know, maybe like a Gerald Washington. I know you guys heard me say I want to see Washington versus Charles Martin. You know, what I mean, somebody like that. Um, Andre Fedosa, maybe, you know, put him in there with guys like that, man. You know, what I mean. Uh, like I said, guys that have probably competed for world titles or guys that have at least been in title eliminator type of fights like a Houston off or Demetrinko. I know Demetrinko just dropped one to, to Tony Yoka, but somebody like that where you've heard of the guy before. It may be a guy, you know, like a, a Marius Wack. You know, what I mean, uh, want to see Cheney in those type of fights and then um, either or either that one or put him in there. Like I said, with a guy that's also probably undefeated like a Jermaine Franklin, but uh, he's 32 years old, man. So I know. You know, he wants to stay active. It was his second fight this year. Second quick fight. He had two first-round KOs. Um, if you guys haven't already, man, check out my interviews I did with Cassius Cheney a couple years ago, man. But uh, props to Cassius Cheney. Went viral, man. This is what you need, man. In today's age with memes and things going viral, this is definitely um, one that you will want under your belt, man. You dig what I'm saying? So, you guys, let me think in the comment section. What do you think Cassius Cheney should do next? What do you think about the KO itself? Let me know what y'all think, man. I'm gone.